Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you the installation for Veto Baby seat and for that these are the items which I've got from the box when I unpacked it. I've got a manual which shows me how to install the seat. These are the following rails. These are the category of nuts. There are specific two categories of nuts one are the round headed and one is the square one then uh, there are bolts for the same then we have got a washers i had to use some of the washers so i'm just showing you five but i think there was some eight uh, washers with that and these two are basically additional stuff which i think we will be needing when we have a, a specific case of a bicycle and this is the beta baby seat uh, which I'm going to show you uh, there are certain parts which we need to assemble uh, to get it into this condition uh, this portion but I will go through that later apart from what you get from the box you need your own set of tools which is basically a plus an allen key or maybe a screwdriver so we are going to start with the step one which is installing the rack with the rails now there are three kinds of rail as you can see here we have given 19 inch rail 18 inch rail and these are the specific rail which are going to go inside here like this you have to slide them inside these uh, sockets here if we are going to use the square bolts and the nuts for these the tools which we are going to use is uh, allen key and a plus I'm using these square bolts I'm just going to put it into from here and they are going to get a uh, jam inside this square uh, space holes inside inside the rack and then I'm just going to put this bolt inside now the tricky part is that these uh, bolts are com coming with a washer and you need either an uh, plus kind of stuff to just keep rolling it inside and this is the toughest part here because uh, there's not much space here so either you need to have a right uh, set of uh, tools right now i don't have i have the so as you can see, um, I've put this rail inside uh, uh, the space here, so it can move, so, and that's what we So, as you can see, I've fitted my rails on the rack, and as you can see, I've used the square bolts, and I had to, had to use my heavily, my plus to just fix it. So right now, they are in this stage where I can just move them slightly up and down but they're not coming out of this rail as you can see i'm using the force but it's not coming out so i'm sure this is very important part and it's very important for the safety of your child who's gonna sit on the bike that these are well tightened up so as you can see they have just come out of the washer at this length and they're just about to move up and down they are not going to able to come out this so you have to be very sure when you are doing this, this is a very crucial part of the fitting of the bike. So we've got two rails here, uh, which are going to be fit on these one. One is 19 inch and another is 18 inch. As can be seen on this uh, manual, uh, either we have to use 18 inch or 19 inch on the ATB phone. So as for my bike, I've just think that the suitable will be the 19 inch and that's what i'm going to fit in here either you can put the rails inside or outside that's uh, what you have to figure it out when you're going to put the bike on this uh, on uh, when you're going to put the rack on the bike so first i would say just go and plainly put this uh, rack on the bike and see whether you want to put it inside or you want to put it outside because um, that's what going going to because some bikes have the wider seat some bike has a, a narrower uh, stuff 
so that's uh, something which you have to figure it out by putting just for a trial the bike like this and then try to put uh, put the rails like this and see whether you are going to need uh, uh, to, uh, these rails we put inside or outside So for my bike, I need to use these two extra stuff because the length of my bike is uh, till here. So the rack position will come sometime here and for that I need to use these two. It all depends on whether you need to put this one here or these two because it depends on the length of uh, the rack and the indentation on your bike where you're going to put the final screw in. See, my rails are going in and forward. These rails are also going in and forward. So I'm going to show you the fitting of the big Beta Baby on my Merida bike. It's a Merida 10V extra small. And as you can see, there's already a holes which where I can put my rails in. And the rack will be going fitting into this. And there is a similar hole at this point here, which I will be using for my rack installation. As you can see, we have already fitted our bike rack into the, this indentation here and here. So we are almost done with this. What we need to do is now, um, this bike rack looks quite sturdy. We have to just slide in the baby seat and then lock in in here. So I've already got this bike rack here. So I'm just gonna do so this will come put in in this position here so i'm sure that it's going to correctly just slightly push it should be very easy once again just do it here so in here it is going into these rails in here as you can see it is fitting into these one that is very important and second one is that it is coming in here so what we are going to do is once it is at this location uh, i'm just going to put this little my cycle bicycle seat a little bit up i'm going to put this in here and then lock it in like this So now we have finished uh, setting up our bike. Um, I think it's perfectly fitted. As you can see, it's not shaky or nothing, but I will still go to my bike vendor tomorrow and get it verified that the seat installation is correct. Um, I would also recommend you to do the same. Um, once you have installed, just go back to your any bike vendor and he will just see everything is fine or not.